the governor of Puerto Rico, Ricardo Rossello, joins me now on the telephone. Uh, first off, Governor, thank you so much for spending some time with us. I know you're very busy making last-minute uh, efforts to prepare for the storm before it hits. Uh, how prepared are the residents of Puerto Rico? Well, th thank you for the opportunity, Vlad. Uh, I, uh, our expectation is that we are very prepared. We've uh, been working on uh, contingency plans since we assumed office uh, about eight months ago. Uh, we implemented an emergency protocol about a week ago. We already have more than 460 shelters, so that people that are in flooding areas or that have uh, weak infrastructure can actually move and be safe. And right now, uh, I know some of the concern might be infrastructure and otherwise, but really our priority is having people um, and safe, uh, making sure that they're in shelters, and weathering the storm, and then we'll start the rebuilding process. Uh, and, and, Governor, I don't know if, because of the size of the island of Puerto Rico, if uh, putting into place evacuations, mandatory evacuations, is feasible, but is that something that mm -hmm. has been considered? Yes, I've, I've implemented a mandatory evacuation protocol. Uh, luckily, uh, right now, when uh, the people see the uh, uh, public officials uh, uh, understand the National Guard and uh, our police force, uh, they, they tend to work with them. But uh, we have implemented uh, um, an emergency protocol, but basically because Puerto Rico uh, has, you know, uh, significant flooding areas, uh, have some populations with a very weak infrastructure, uh, and they wouldn't be able to sustain the wind forces that, that a Category 5 hurricane would bring. Uh, so uh, in, in terms of concerns, we're concerned about the, uh, the flooding. Uh, that's why we're m making that effort uh, so we can get the emergency evac. And uh, as well, uh, you know, the, the sustained winds are apparently going to be higher than, than even expected. Uh, but we're, we're bracing for that, and we're uh, uh, working so to make sure that every uh, Puerto Rican, every U.S. citizen that lives in Puerto Rico, uh, has uh, sh proper shelter. And uh, what what about the power situation, uh, Governor? Historically, when I mean, because this isn't the first hurricane, obviously, to hit the island. Uh, what generally happens uh, with the power, and uh, what do you expect could happen with Irma? Well, uh, you know, our, our infrastructure, our energy infrastructure, is very weak. Uh, since we assumed office. A couple of months ago, we've been working on plans to make sure we can get some, some investment, uh, working with the private sector so that we can develop a new infrastructure that would basically give us reliable energy and that would give us uh, more competitive energy. Uh, of course, that takes time. Uh, Irma decided to arrive earlier, and uh, there is no doubt that we're going to be feeling the brunt. Uh, uh, we're going to be feeling a significant hit in the infrastructure. I can tell you right now that about 20 percent of the island is without power, and uh, still we haven't, uh, you know, there's, we still have a couple of hours to go until we feel the very heavy winds uh, uh, and, and the heavy rainfall. Uh, you know, we, we had earlier uh, a reporter from Antigua uh, saying that uh, although they were directly in the path of Hurricane Irma, that uh, luckily uh, it seems as uh, as they start to survey the damage there that it hasn't been too bad. Uh, so hopefully uh, that will certainly, uh, we hope, be the case in Puerto Rico. Right. Well, you know, infrastructure is one thing. We'll, we'll get to that. Our, our objective is to make sure that people's lives, uh, you know, are safe, that we can make sure that, uh, uh, you know, that they're in shelter. Uh, there's, there's a lot of danger, as we saw with Harvey, in, in terms of flooding and what that, that can do uh, to, you know, to, to hamper uh, people and, and to end lives. So we wanted to make sure we were prepared for this. Uh, right now, the focus is uh, making sure people are safe and that uh, once the, to the storm passes, we'll start assessing the damage and hopefully uh, as you stated, it won't be uh, as bad as, as, uh, as projected. Governor Ricardo Rossello of Puerto Rico, sir, our thoughts and prayers are with you and our uh, fellow citizens in Puerto Rico. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for those thoughts and, and prayers.